Oh, what's everybody painting this weekend? Oh, Horse Heresy. Oh, uh, oh, also Horse Heresy. What else? Oh, Horse Heresy. Uh, this guy's painting Horse Heresy. Horse Heresy! Horse Heresy! Horse Heresy! Horse Heresy! <laughs> I am not going to be painting Horus Heresy. Another box came out this weekend. The Star Wars Legion Shadow Collective. I'm going to paint that. Because I can't see any more Horus Heresy stuff. I know some people love it. I just, I, and I think it's cool. I just can't. It's everywhere. So today I'm going to be painting the Pike Syndicate from Star Wars Legion by Atomic Mass Games. First thing I'm going to do is give these guys a spray of black. Then I'm going to do a Zenithal spray of white ink from above. I'm going to be using speed paints and contrast paints for this tutorial because I want these done as fast as possible. I just do. First paint I am using is Hardened Leather by Army Painter. This is going on this weird frill that they're wearing, the under jacket, the jerkin that they have on. This is also going on their boots, but leave the toes, leave the toes normal. I'm gonna paint those like the skin color. Then I'm moving on to Zealot Yellow. This is going to be put on this little armor, in between this little armor piece they have. Some of them also have a cuff around their sleeve up near their shoulder. It's going on there and also the Electro Whip. And we're moving on to snake bite leather and this is going on the holster that some of them have around their leg. Next we're going to griff charger gray and this is going on their pantaloons. I always love the story um, from 1976 when they're shooting the original Star Wars where the Fox Studio executive sent a note to George Lucas asking why the Wookiee isn't wearing pants and could he have pants. <laughs> Studio executives are stupid. Next we're moving to Grave Lord Grey. This is going on all the armor bits. So the face masks, shoulder pads, the wrist guards, the chest piece, and then the bum dress. I'm sure there's a name for bum dresses, armored bum dresses. I don't know what it is. If you know, put a comment down below and say, this is what an armored bum dress is actually called. And then tell me. Next, I'm taking some Malignant Green and some Agros Dunes. I am mixing that together and this is gonna be our skin color. This is going on the head and the hands and the bit of the arms showing and also the toes. Next, we're gonna be taking Desert Sand Earth Texture from Vallejo. This is just going all over the base.
Then I will take some little rocks when that's still wet and I'll put them on there. Just drip them on. Next, I'm gonna take that zealot yellow again once that's all dried and this is gonna go all over the base. The idea was is that I was going for like the Spice Mines of Kessel kind of look um, from the Solo movie, which I really liked. I guess some people didn't, but I liked it. I will put a black rim around the base and these guys are done. They turned out really cool for honestly spending a couple hours one night just painting them up as fast as possible. I'm, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Plus, they are super cool miniatures. These, are, honestly, they're so neat. And I like that they kind of took the Clone Wars aesthetic and tried to make it look as real world as possible. Because the ones in the Book of Boba Fett show, I didn't think looked nearly as good as these ones. Either way, I had a ton of fun painting these guys. I really hope that Star Wars Legion really kind of gets back on its feet. In my local area, the pandemic shut it down first and then the transition from FFG to AMG kind of shut it down some more. So hopefully this box set will really be a return of the game. I know a lot of people are kind of poo-pooing on a lot of the new Star Wars stuff. I didn't really love the sequel trilogy, but most of everything else they've done, I've really enjoyed. and. If you're not enjoying it, you don't like the story, look in the background. There are people literally pouring their hearts and souls into things that exist to just sit on a shelf in the background of Star Wars shows. Growing up, that was the stuff that was cool watching Star Wars, were the aliens in the cantina and the aliens at Jabba's palace. Like you didn't know anything about any of those guys in the back. That was some of the coolest stuff is you could really fill in the blanks yourself and be like, oh, that guy does this, that guy does that. I'm ranting a lot because I really do love Star Wars and I haven't got to talk about it on the channel very much because I haven't painted anything from the game yet on the channel. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things. And hopefully I'm gonna get to paint some more Star Wars stuff going forward. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Pike Syndicate aliens are weirdos with big necks, big heads. Why is their head so floppy? I wish I had some. I wish you could play Star Wars music, but apparently it's a cop copyright infringement. <laughs> I'm sure, John Williams would be fine with it.